Hi, Pisces. It's Abby. Welcome to your reading. So, this is going to be a little check-in for Pisces. Any placement, any relation to a Pisces, even if you just vibe with what I'm doing, that's appreciated. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, we do still have a few days left of September, so if you want to enter for the free reading giveaway, the information is in the... Ooh, the sun and the magician uh, is in the description down below. Okay, so just follow those rules if you are interested. Okay, no pressure. Thanks for everybody showing up. Things have been a little bonkers over here. But, you know, we're working through it. Remember that this can be for you. It could be picking up on energies around you. Well, it looks like it's really strong Pisces energy, though. A lot of major arcana so far. What's a Bruin for you here, babies? Let's take a look. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we have the moon showing up at the bottom of the deck. Pisces energy for me as a reader. This deck also has some cancer imagery, so that could be important or not. Um, the moon is a lot to do with like your intuition and dreams. It has, you know, things may be a mystery. If you can see here how this person is sort of with their eyes closed, trying to feel their way through whatever is sort of going on in their head, going on in their mind. There's emotion involved. There's sort of um, maybe a little bit of darkness um just because it's the nighttime it's before we get to the sun right um we had the sun and the magician on one of the splits there and it feels like the the moon is that energy we go through before we manage to get to the sun so i feel like a lot of you are probably feeling your way through something or out of something right now um in your first row here what you're moving out of we have the star the eight of wands and the fool this is really fast. Um, could be Aquarius. We have Aries showing up here also. But this Eight of Wands, really, really quick, fast-moving energy. This could be travel. Some of you might have had a sudden burst of like, I have to move, or I have to travel, or I have to leave, or I have to whatever. Like something that has sort of bubbled up. Uh, recently, it could be connected to a particular... Uh, hope or dream a new beginning possibly with the fool here but this feels like it's coming about because of a, a, a certain level of healing that might have occurred for you um these are both decks by uh Ciro Mar marchetti if anyone is interested uh let's see here the worlds like what is up with all of this ace of swords and the star again yeah um there could be some sort of new start. It just feels so much like you could have maybe an Aries person is involved or an Aquarius person because that's showing up more in your present moving into the past energy. But this is very much like I've healed enough. I've thought enough. I've been quiet enough. I've listened enough. I've done what I needed to do. And now I'm getting this sort of like burst of energy with this this eight of wands um you have the ace of swords so this is, can be an idea a realization or a truth that's come to the surface that might be the reason why this movement is kind of happening um i'm feeling like for the pisces i'm talking to this whatever this realization is it's something that you felt first before you thought if that makes sense it's like it was in like your reactions it was in almost like how you felt in the room with a certain person or in a certain situation you felt it before you were able to formulate the actual thought and then it's like once the thought was there it was like you could not think about anything else <laughs> um and it feels like that's causing some sort of burst with this eight of wands um we have the world with the star okay so these are interesting combinations um this is big big time energy here like the star with the fool and the star with the world 
these are the two ways <laughs> that this shows up, right? This dream and this healing, it's like the closing of a chapter, right? Through healing, through hope, through maybe getting a little attention, maybe realizing your own sort of, um, your inner light, whatever that happens to be for you. And then it's like the world to the fool, right? Like going, like realizing there's a cycle here that's closing. Once that sort of idea formed, it was like something you couldn't, you just couldn't ignore whoever I'm speaking to. Remember, these are general readings. If this one's not for you, I have a whole playlist of Pisces general readings. So you feel free to check out one of those. But like, this is what I'm getting for this particular set of cards. We have in sort of the middle row here, what you're moving towards, the high priestess and the hermit. Lots of wisdom here. This is like intuitive feeling and knowing. And then also this sort of separation, um, very, very intelligent kind of energy and a ten of swords. Ooh, so this feels almost like whatever it is that's closing with this Ten of Swords, it, you might be moving into something where you know it's going to be uncomfortable. Um, it's going to require a lot of thought, a lot of mental energy, but it's like the overarching um, sort of feeling here is it's just so deep. And it's like the, the Hermit, all about that intelligence, right? Taking your your knowledge and turning that into wisdom. What did I learn here? That intuition with the high priestess being kind of on display. Um, I wanted to, th sorry. <laughs> I don't always want to throw reversals in it, but I did for some reason. What is that? The magician in reverse and the empress. You've got so much major arcana in this. Do you see this? The magician in the reverse is like, a, can be a trickster. Um, you could have been dealing with someone who... They could have been the catalyst for whatever this is. Someone who uh, showed themselves one way, maybe has a certain public appearance, um, but is not at all what they actually seem. Yes, okay. So Ten of Cups reverse, Six of Cups. Beautiful, and the Empress coming out again. So this, this feels like that's what that's telling me. The Ten of Cups reverse. Now, this can be sometimes like low mood. It could feel like something here is a failure. Um, that there was maybe a, a best laid plan that you had when these show up like this, okay? But I'm feeling, Pisces, that the reason it's it's not working or the reason it didn't work, and I think that your intuition is on point here, is because there's a better, simpler explanation. There's a very sort of, with the Six of Cups, to me this can be a card of, sure, um, the past sometimes, but this feels more like simplicity, it's like the answer that you're looking for is actually a lot more simple than everyone around you may be trying to tell you. Um, I don't know if there's like particular systems that you're caught up in or if there's like, um, so that can be like legal or work systems or um, societal systems of some kind, family systems. Um, man, this feels like even... I don't know, some kind of a dynamic there. I'll see if I can find the words for it. But it feels like there's almost like this stuff around you. I'm wanting to say like dating, like uh, there are people who are telling you if it's a relationship with a particular person or something like that, or like your dating life in general, you might be receiving a lot of sort of information through your social media, through the people you know, who are kind of giving you strategies. And it's so much more complicated than it needs to be. It's sort of like down at the core of it. I feel like you you know in this sort of like very almost innocent way, if you stripped away everything else, you just know. You know what is the better choice for you. Um, the Hermit showing up here with the Empress. So Virgo and Taurus energies here, very, very earthy, right? This just feels very much like you're kind of reclaiming your power here. It's a lot of abundance and it's through some sort of knowledge. I feel like you've proved something to yourself also is what I'm wanting to say. Um, you could have taken a break or a time away from people where it helped you to kind of really see what the truth was about something. And this feels like this Empress energy is more of the reveal. Okay, and then further out, we have Queen of Wands death and the Six of Swords. This is a big time kind of transition reading, hey? 
Queen of Wands could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, we have Scorpio, and we have some air here. But I mean, we have the moving on card, moving on and moving on and moving on. Um, something new is being birthed here. And for a lot of you, I feel like it is something that brings you a lot of confidence. It's almost like, it, like it's a an acceptance that sort of lights something. King of Cups could be something in love. That's nice. Okay. I love it. I love it. Okay. So <laughs> this death with the three of swords reversed. This I love. Because <laughs> to me as a reader, this feels like this massive overarching change has come from, is going to come from a healing. It's something that you're able to release and let go of. No longer being in the heartbreak. No longer blaming no longer doing whatever. Even if other people are to blame, it's like making a choice to not focus on that. The King of Cups, um, they run the show when it comes to their emotions, right? You could have a, a partnership here. You could have a, a fire sign or another water sign or people with those aspects in some place in their chart um, that is of, of importance. But this is more like the King of Cups does not let their emotions run the show, right? And this feels like a blend here of just like a confidence, like an unwavering confidence, and possibly also you operating from a place of emotional centeredness and power, where it's like, it isn't just being brash. It isn't just being direct. It isn't just being rude <laughs> or anything like that, right? The Queen of Wands can have a fiery ass temper, right? Um, but this feels like I'm just so drawn to the way that he is staring with that cup. It's like they know what they have to offer. They know what they have to protect. And they're choosing to only dip a toe into this sort of nonsense, whatever this is here. And they're, I'm wanting to say for some reason, negotiating from a position of power, um, centeredness and power. The King of Cups isn't always thought of as a negotiator. Usually it's sort of like someone who's like more of an emotional counselor, someone who helps you maybe process feelings. Um, it's a very unconditionally loving energy, but not necessarily feels all over the place, right? Um, but I feel like there's something there that you might be negotiating for your better self. Very nice energy there. Um, and then, I mean... <laughs> Six of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. For me, the Wheel of Fortune is more Sagittarius than anything. Um, so this is, it just feels like you're moving towards what you are actually meant for. There's, there's something that is like, possibly you're moving on, moving away. You could be moving house. Like I said, you could be moving job. You could be changing relationships. There's all of this kind of stuff that's happening. While I'm shooting this, we're in the middle of a Mercury retrograde. I don't really care about Mercury retrogrades. Um, I feel like it's a time to be to like, you know, reflect um, and to be very clear, to double check things, all of that to make sure that you have the right, like you have the good information, but it doesn't mean the world's, sh like the wheel doesn't stop spinning during the, the, the Mercury retrogrades, right? Um, if this is into the future and we're out of that period of time when you find this reading, this just feels like there's just this intense, sensation of moving on and moving forward and that it puts you in a place that's so different justice reversed mm. the emperor reversed yeah i feel like you were dealing with some stuff that was unnecessarily controlling and unfair it's like th all of this like ace of swords is a card of justice it's a card of truth, of fairness, of, of ideas and things coming to light. So this could very well be what you're happening here. And the star is kind of like that raising up energy. Very, very intrigued with this. Tell me down below if you relate to this and what it means to you, Pisces. I feel like there's a lot of sort of, this is a lot of big time energies. Okay, I'm going to pull a couple oracles. For the Pisces who are resonating with this message, what do they need to see in here? Shining through. I mean, you have so much star energy. How could that be any more right? <laughs> Let me just grab my little bucky book. Okay. I just glanced at the first 
few meanings of this card and I was like, yep, that seems about right. So this is key concepts, right? Self-expression without filters or masks, authentic communication, being proud of who you are, shining in the world, refusing to make yourself small just to belong. It says you were being called to step up into your true power and essence. This is one of those times when you're required to bring everything you are, all that you've learned, experienced and integrated, and offer it up in service to the world. When you take center stage, you will be noticed. Yes, as you shine brightly, you will naturally stand apart from others. This idea may bring up, bring up excitement and genuine pride or even discomfort, but this is not the time to make yourself small, to avoid the glare of the spotlight and potential punishment by others. It takes courage, but know that this is the right thing for you today. You have come so far. You have been in the proverbial back of the room, in learning and gathering mode for so long, and this important time has served its purpose. You must now step into a new consciousness, seizing a new opportunity to share your wisdom. You will be like a lighthouse, shining through the dark, illuminating the way for others. Be careful of the voices in your head that say, you can't, or you don't know enough, or who are you to try and shine? The better question is, who are you not to shine? All you are and all you have become is by the grace of the divine. Now it is your duty to share your gifts. Celebrate this. Hell yes. This is gorgeous. There's got this like beaming sort of energy that's happening here that I really like. It's so pretty. Let's get a... Wisdom of the Oracle. You tell me where Pisces is headed. With this energy, the Pisces that are resonating with this message, where are they headed? To the sea. Headed to the sea. <laughs> I remember there was a period of time, Pisces, where this card came out for you just like all the time. And it just feels so perfect. So where you're going, okay? It says, being in the flow, returning to source, recognizing how the pieces fit together in the natural pat pattern of events. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. Yeah, there's like a direction that's going. This is that six of, like six of swords kind of vibe. Again, down here, really similar kind of imagery. Um, I talked about perfect conditions. And I feel like there's something that will be easier to see once you get to the sun, right? Once you get to the sun, it's like once you get to where you're headed and things are all aligned, it's like, oh, this was actually the right conditions for this move, for this, for me to jump ship from that job, for me to go towards this relationship, whatever it is for you, it's going to be different for everybody. But it feels like that's going to be the, like, that's going to be where it, it goes to a place of flow and greater ease by like shining that light, not hiding, not hiding who you are, what you know, what you've learned, what you've become, what you learned in that cave hanging out in hermit mode. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, these have cursing, if you don't like that, fair warning. We have, you need a good fucking cry. Get the ugly cry on, let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. Mm -hmm. These transitions, like the world to the fool, the star, all of that, right? That, those are stuff, these big transitions and shifts with all of this major arcana energy. Those are sometimes things that we need to get out of our body, we need to release, we need to um, like really purposefully let it go. Um, and that's just through processing. You can journal, you can do whatever you need to do. I'm a talker, <laughs> like my friends and family know. I need to hear myself say things to be able to like process them completely. So you may hopefully find people that you can talk to 
And then eventually it gets to a point where you'll, you'll hear yourself talking about things. At least for me, this is the experience. And I will just genuinely feel like I am so sick of hearing myself talk about this. And then that's the point where it's like, okay, no, we don't do this anymore, right? We don't do this. We, we now and forward. That's it. That's what we do. Um, it'll happen naturally if you let yourself um, recognize it. We also have U equals tight ass. Okay, saying loosen the fuck up, control freaks don't get laid. Um, so for some of you, you could be having some issues with um, control. Like the King of Cups is a lot of emotional control, sure. Um, but I mean, that Queen of Wands energy is a real spicy uh, hot tamale type, right? So it's, I feel like there might be a little bit of um, back and forth between those energies, especially if you have fire in your chart, Pisces. Um, this feels like that, wanting to take center stage, trying to tell you that you can still retain emotional control, you can retain your dignity, you can, you know, you don't have to fly off to be powerful, right? It's just sort of like to loosen things up a little bit here. I think that's what that's trying to say. Okay, if I hope this was helpful to you today, Pisces. Um, I hope I'll see you again. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, little button down below and uh, turn on notifications if you want to as well. A lot of you guys have those notifications turned on and I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, lots of love, okay? Everyone who's donated. I got a couple messages because I was gone for a few days. Ugh, stuff with work. I don't even want to get into it, but like um, my day job at least. So, but thank you for checking up on me. I am, I'm good. Um, and thanks for all the donations, my members, everybody. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.